this is our accommodation which is Broom Cottage but this is an actual fact there's two cottages so that window that door and that door belong to that cottage and this door and that window and that was up there that's our cottage what we're stopping in it's got a small garden it's in about 15 minutes walk from the town of Whitby and there's parking at the front um, really really nice it's a rustic cottage there's a car coming past and it's got a small garden so you can sit outside and uh, this is looking back at the garden obviously it's March so everything's a bit wet and horrible at the moment it's got a pump here I'm not sure whether that's an ornate one or a genuine one it would need priming if it's a real one it's possible it could be an original one for a cottage and I think these may have been like what I call fishermen's cottages and it's very rustic but very nice you can hear the seagulls birds are singing there's a, like a medical centre here right next door and there's lots of trees for walking dogs and things like that you know green green area we love it absolutely love it it's ideal for us rather stop somewhere like this than on a campsite in the motel with wet grass this time of year mud and walking to the toilet block when you can be in a cottage like this with television cooker microwave and uh, one thing or another really really nice suits us down to the ground oh i will put some photographs up now of um what it used to look like and uh, the photographs are, is, are on the wall and it's before this medical center was built here and um you know before it had the dormer room up there this is as you come in the cottage it's very rustic and small so if you're very tall i wouldn't recommend it it's got radiators and electric fire for heating and this is the main room living room with some pictures and it is a cottage and it's got a drying rack up here like they used to do years ago this is where the heating is and things and coats hanging up bay window settee dining room table for two people our place with the uh, effect let's see if I can put this on for you flame effect electric fire mirror hello switch that off it's remote control kitchen area it's microwave oven fridge kettle toaster usual things very small area and this is the stairs into the bedroom and you don't need to be very tall going up the stairs it's a bit of a mess in here <laughs> it just got up so apologies and the curtains are drawn nice big bed bit of a mess no wardrobe as such 
dressing table mirror, a rack to put clothes on, hooks here, there's a view over the back, it's difficult for me to show you, into the woods over there, and this is in, this, in the roof, fire alarms, and uh, yeah, very rustic not very big but for the money we're paying it's lovely and warm there's ele electric heaters as well additional cushions that could be a bit of a stool coming down the stairs if you're tall and you will bang your head here if, you, if you're not careful Jane's in the shower at the moment and toilet area so I can't show you in there and the same only just got up from the kitchen area is the toilet and the shower again it's got radiator heating Toilet area, shower cubicle, shower mats hanging up, turns just come out. It's electric shower, basin, a few nice pictures everywhere. Very small shower, but it's okay for obviously one person. So that's it. That's our accommodation. I'll just go over the how much it costs. Um, we're here for three nights and to put your motorhome or camper van on a piece of grass on a campsite it's £35 a night. So that's roughly £105 three days and that is where you have to obviously walk to the toilet block and you're living in your van and you're using your own heating and things like that and this was 185 pounds that includes that and everything else for three nights so you've got a brick stone built building with free heating television kitchen microwave oven and everything else for £185 for three nights. So, thanks for watching this little video. Please subscribe and like.